Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm Seda. And, and this, this is the Book, Book of Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> Catastrophic Science. In 1919, Professor Robert Goddard at Clark University in Massachusetts published a paper on rockets and rocket science in which he described the possibility of using different fuels to send a rocket out of the Earth's atmosphere, even as far as the moon. But Goddard and his article were quickly mocked by the media, which said the professor lacked the knowledge ladled out daily in high schools. So you can bet no one was more thrilled than Goddard when in 1926 he launched a 10-foot rocket powered by a unique mixture of gasoline and liquid oxygen 41 feet in the air. Little did he know, however, that he had also just started the space age. Over the next 50 years, Goddard and other scientists developed better and faster liquid fuel rockets until finally, in 1969, the Apollo 2 landed on the moon. Sadly, Goddard wasn't around to see this or the apology written to him in the New York Times for their mocking article written in 1919. Any sort of rocket, a firework, a space rocket, or even a balloon that has been let loose, demonstrates the same si basic scientific principles. One of the most important is known as Newton's third law of motion. Are you talking about Isaac Newton? As in, apple falling on his head, Isaac Newton? Yep, that Isaac Newton. Although the apple part is actually another one of his laws that we'll have to save for another day. Today we're talking about his third law, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you untie an inflated balloon, the air inside comes rushing out. Isaac Newton would identify the air rushing out as the action and the way the balloon goes flying off as the reaction. And this is exactly what we're going to be testing today on a larger and hopefully more explosive scale. Robert Goddard's soda bottle rocket. Experiment 34 in the Book of Potentially Catastrophic Science will give you the chance to build a rocket with liquid fuel. But don't worry parents, the liquid fuel is water. We've got a cork and we put a nail through it so the adapter pin can go right into it and put the air into the two liter coke bottle we have which, is a fill, which we filled up with a third of water. We've also attached cardboard so we can stand it up uh, so the rocket can take off. Here we go.